Hello Blazers and welcome to Sochi, uh, a city on the south of Russia on the Black Sea which I actually have in the background of me right now. Yes guys, I made it out of the hood, I made it out of Chilevins, finally now I'm somewhere where it's not freezing all the time. Now this region uh, of uh, Sochi, the Black Sea coast, I would like to call the Russian California in a sense because it's very much a place that's also flooded by money, flooded literally. But it's a very interesting mix of the sort of new money coming in here and also of the relics of the Soviet past I guess because uh, just like Crimea for example which all of you I'm sure are aware of uh, this place uh, Sochi was also very much a resort for the Soviet elites back in the day and it's just uh, being here it's a very interesting mix of the old good Russian Soviet goodness and also this new money palm trees you know this overall kind of a uh, more bougie vibe so yeah let's go around and see what uh, this place has to offer for us check it out and uh, hopefully it's gonna be pretty interesting let's go before I get destroyed by these waves <laughs> Honestly, as somebody who lives in uh, Chelyabinsk, obviously, rural rest Russia, where there's nothing really interesting, uh, seeing this is uh, kind of a kind of a little bit of a mindfuck because it doesn't feel like Russia in the, in the slightest. <laughs> Here's one thing you can do when you come down to Sochi, feed the, uh, feed the seagulls, it's a ton of fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, here we are, the Death Stranding bitch. I know what you're, uh, any of y'all are gonna say, you know, all of y'all uh, watching this video, living in California or Miami Beach or whatever for me this is incredible I haven't seen the sea in years and especially not in the context of being in Russia thankfully I'm uh, I'm reminded of it every step uh, of the way so that I don't forget which country I'm in I appreciate it I appreciate it very much actually quite surprised because um, there's quite a lot of people out there even though we're uh, basically off season which obviously the season uh, for people to come here would be uh, summer but uh, uh, one thing I would like to say about this uh, embankment we're on, which is the, uh, you know, the place where uh, all the good stuff happens, you know, you have the Black Sea in the back of me. It's kind of a place where you have to avoid most... Uh, you don't really go out to eat here, basically, because the, re the reason is just... It's, uh, the, f the prices are insanely inflated to begin with, uh, in uh, just uh, Sochi proper. And here on the embankment, I mean, everything is uh, two times even more expensive, so... Uh, you know, it's kind of like when you come to Europe and you don't, you, you, they tell you not to eat out on like, uh, on uh, the big squares on your uh, historic locations, very much the same here. And here's my first cut in, the first thing I have to say about Sochi. Sochi is a pretty expensive place, very touristy, a lot of tourist traps, a lot of uh, people trying to make the most amount of money on you. Don't expect to have a, you know, a great meal for a completely nonsensically small price, like cheap price, like it would in Russia proper. Sochi is all about blowing them stacks. Now, before all of y'all get really happy and stuff you know great you know beautiful Russia with beautiful cheap places and everything uh, this place is anything but cheap the hotel and the ticket here was pretty cheap but as far as like the prices on um, in cafes restaurants and everything goes it's way way more expensive than uh, Chilevinsk for example which is uh, actually a city with over a million people there's only only about 400 uh, thousand people living in Sochi so the prices are way inflated I would compare them to like Moscow so it's not as cheap as you think essentially every step of the way you gotta watch out and not let people talk to you because they will start buzzing in your ear and start promising you all sorts of things so <laughs> Нет, спасибо, у нас это... Мы бедные, у нас денег нет. Все, все. You see, I told him I'm poor, and he immediately decided to not to ever talk to me again. I like it. I should employ that strategy more in my life. You're telling people I'm poor as shit? It actually works. But let's not talk about negatives because I want to show you what kind of drip Sochi has and why the place is so expensive and so full of so-called new money. Now, one of the reasons why Sochi as a region is, uh, you know, seeing all this sort of, I guess, new money you could say coming in is because uh, Sochi uh, used was the place of uh, where they conducted the, the 2014 Winter Olympics. So a lot of governmental spending was done in order to, you know, make it all look very nice. And also for ages, uh, governmental leaders and you know, all the powerful people alike use this place for uh, their residences so um, a lot of actually uh, duchess 
and other residential places and palaces, I guess you could say, that belonged to Stalin, for example, uh, back in the old days. And they're built in the region of uh, the Black Sea, the Black Sea coast, Sochi. And also, guys, as we all know, it's still happening to this day. Uh, that's all I that's all I will say we'll not go further than that but you know <laughs> people like to have uh, their nice villas and everything on the Black Sea coast that's what I'm saying I don't know about you guys but I'm getting heavy uh, GTA 5 online apartment vibes from that building right there <laughs> they built it in real life guys isn't that crazy hey guys by the way Soviet car Soviet car alert Bolden bankrupt screaming his pants right now. This is Bolden bankrupt whenever he sees a Soviet vehicle. <gasps> this is him. <laughs> One thing I'm just realizing while being here right now is that, you know, people are really living it up in Russia, apparently. Not everybody has a shitty life <laughs> in a dark shit city nobody cares about, you know. Palm trees, you know, they have drip out here. And I'm just sitting in Chilebinsk or whatever. I should come here more often. My friends brought me to a place called Dendrarium in Sochi, which is like a national park of sorts, which apparently was created in the uh, 18th century, actually in 1899, or that's 19th century, I'm sorry. You know, it's a really cool park, really beautiful place, really beautiful sites. However, even here, guys, even here, reminder, you cannot escape the wrath of Timothy because right here we have the classic the beautiful black star burger yes yes <laughs> which is closed which is very interesting to me because I don't understand why uh, we actually noticed this back in uh, when we were um, walking around yesterday we were at a mall one of the biggest malls in the city every sort of uh, fast food chain in the mall like McDonald's you know KFC whatever they were closed like the entire food court aisle was essentially closed which was very weird to me because again back in like uh, where I live right now Chelyabinsk the coronavirus lockdown measures I guess aren't as strict and we have everything is running everything is open every sort of food court aisle in every mall I found that very interesting you know I was about to say that Boulder Bay Cup is gonna absolutely hate this city because there's barely anything Soviet in there I mean literally looking around at everything here it's all just like these new built skyscrapers and everything, all these resorts, palaces, and barely anything Soviet, but every now and again you stumble upon a gem like that, upon like an old Soviet uh, bus station or something, and you realize, yeah, this is the real shit. Why is this cable car station one of the best pieces of architecture I've ever seen in my life? I really don't get it. It's too good. We're about to take a cable car ride on what seems to be a, a building made a, a right out of Half-Life 2 or something. Really sick. You guys know I love stuff like this. Soviet construction and everything but one thing that's pissing me off a little bit is that in order to use the binoculars right here you have to pay and uh, I bet I, I bet you in the Soviet times you didn't have to pay to use the binoculars ah! we used to be a communist country everything should be free the binoculars I've, I've paid all the way to all the way to get out there okay I've paid to use this cable car why do I have to pay to use the binoculars I'm actually pissed I'm actually pissed <laughs> Sorry, I'm, uh, my nose is running uh, because of how cold it is out here. Hope you guys just get at least a little bit of the scale of this entire thing. It's really just stunning being here. Pretty sick, man. And of course, the Beverly Hills down below. Amazing. Makes me, uh, makes me extremely sad about my life in Chilevitsk. <laughs> There's something great about the fact that we came here in the winter, uh, which is off-season, not in the summer, because when you come here in the summer, you get like uh, all these 
uh, bum ass drunk ass tourists walking around everywhere being a new being nuisance to society don't get me wrong we still get that and we are also all, of course a part of the of that tourist gang of that tourist mob you know coming here in the winter is a bit I guess it's just more chill. It feels uh you still get you know scammed everywhere, everybody's still trying to scam you, you know. It's very much this place is still full of tourist traps and everything, but it, it feels a tiny bit better. I would say one thing I'm definitely noticing compared to uh, back uh, home, Chilebinsk, uh definitely uh the air is much much cleaner and it just feels like it's a blast to breathe, you know what I mean? Because back home, you know, uh, people from other cities always come and they always say, ooh, it's so the, it's so impossible to breathe here. And I'm like, eh, I don't really, yeah, I, do. I don't really notice it. Yeah. But being here, I feel like maybe they do have a point. Maybe they do have a point. Maybe it is impossible to breathe in my, in my city because being here is just, just feels great, man. One thing I want to say as well is uh, seeing clean taxis is very unusual because uh, Chilevinsk is an absolute hellhole right now. Uh, we melted mush of snow and slush everywhere. Seeing clean cars on the streets is life changing to me right now. So we're on one of the central streets right now, and uh, one of the things I noticed definitely compared to like even my city is that it just feels way more alive. Like there's more just life on the streets in general. And I don't know if that has to do with the season right now because obviously, I mean, it's still winter, but back home it's like ridiculously cold. Overall, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> now speaking of all the Los Angeles comparisons or California comparisons or whatever I've been doing across the entire video uh, they even uh, made their own star alley right here so you can see there's like multiple of them this is not <laughs> for, uh, this is for uh, some sort of musical festival they were called new wave in russia not as interesting i would prefer it would be like uh, handprints with like you would have somebody like you know Filip kirkorov Morgenstern, <laughs> but unfortunately not. We don't, we're not. We don't get that. These are the mascots for the uh, 2014 Olympics, by the way. Back during the 2014 Sochi Olympics, uh, there was a very, very cute moment uh, with this uh, little white bear right here, which actually cried during uh, the opening, and it was like a reference to the 1980 uh, Olympics in Moscow, when uh, which had uh, like a similar bear that flew up in the air. It was like a very sad moment. The entirety of the Soviet Union was crying their eyes, eyes out. Well, we had a moment just like that, with that little bear in the back. It was very touching, you know, and uh, Sochi still very much uh, holds on to the past of the uh, having held the Olympics in 2014. And I don't, I don't blame them, it's a, it's a very big deal. I see that. We are now in the, uh, I guess, one of the bougiest neighborhoods uh, Sochi really has to offer. And I mean, it's pretty noticeable. <laughs> Don't get caught. Don't get caught by these people. When you come to Sochi, don't speak to anybody. <laughs> don't breathe. Yeah, this has happened the second time now. Don't speak to people. I've already, I already had my experiences in uh, like Rome when I went to Rome in Italy. I literally got scammed within like by like 15 times within 20 minutes. Almost, almost got scammed. So now I just know to not speak to people when I'm out in public. I'm a sociopath, <laughs> but I like it. Ah yes, all this. All this stuff I'm never gonna be able to afford in my entire life. It's like going to a car dealership and looking at a bunch of cool cars you're never gonna buy. I like it. It's like going to a Gucci store just to, just to watch, just to, just to see what they have. <laughs> the entirety of Russia's one percent uh, parking parking space right here. Kind of sick. Kind of sick. I just really like the way the footage looks on my camera. To be honest, it's not particularly interested. I'm not the type of guy who is who likes boats or anything, but you know, just want to show you guys what we have. We kind of drip. Even here as well, you know, just some nice uh, yachts going on and then you zoom in and there we go. Again, we have the Olympic, the Olympic, uh, what, are, what are they even called? Rings? I guess they're called rings, right? You could say that in the public consciousness, in a sense, uh, Sochi uh, has, has become like ubiquitously an Olympic place, an Olympic city uh, and uh, is always associated with the Olympics, which is, I feel like it's like, well, like one of the best ways to not only develop your place, the place you uh, live in and also give it a new uh, identity because I remember I've been to Sochi like uh, 10 or more than 10 years ago probably like 15 years ago as a kid with my mom I don't remember anything but I don't remember the place being as dripped out as it is right now so definitely the 2014 Olympics have left some kind of long-lasting impact I 
I don't know if you guys can hear it, but there's classical music being played and we're near some concert hall or something. One thing I can say about Sochi is that the city sense is really beautiful. That can be true for a lot of cities in Russia, but not every city in Russia with a population with like of like 400, 450 or whatever. They're doing some right. I really like how they use these like old Soviet buildings and then they uh, add all these all the sort of lights into them. Looks really, really cool. I'm about to show you guys one of the strangest things I've noticed immediately when I arrived to Sochi. It's like one of the strangest things of uh, unfortunate names of companies I've ever seen in my life. So, uh, okay, basically it says uh, uh, KGB Advertising Agency. You, just, you see right here, KGB, that's KGB. And that's what it was called in the fucking Soviet Union, KGB. And like, you know, it's just, uh, 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 it's whatever, it's advertisements, right? You see this at like every bus stop in the city. Why? Why would you name your uh, advertising agency KGB? It doesn't make any sense to me. Who in their right mind, right? I mean, it doesn't really make sense. Like, you're, you're like on the yellow papers or whatever. You're looking through the list of advertising agencies that are available and you're like, hmm, KGB, yeah, that sounds like a good one. I'm definitely going to trust, trust, trust them. Man. <laughs> now guys, of course I was talking about all this stuff like, oh, this place doesn't seem like Russia or whatever. But there's one thing that's always, uh, that's presence in every single city in Russia ever, ever, without doubt, without, without exclusion. There's one thing that unites every single Russian city and it's this. A statue of the glorious leader. Can we focus please? Yes, there we go. Yeah, uh, Sochi has its own Lenin statue, uh, pretty classic, you know, it's just great. Uh, <laughs> again, this should be like Cuba or something, the palm trees next to a Lenin, it's, this is just so uncanny, man, but we've got it. Another thing I noticed as well, which actually I, I feel slightly safer here, uh, in, in, like in, in the dark at night, I guess, than I would in uh, Chelyabinsk, my hometown. Uh, I know my city is known as like the Gopnik Central or whatever, but I mean, it's Russia, right? You got you got the same Gopniks, Russians everywhere. I don't really see the reason why I would feel more safer than this. Maybe it's the climate. Maybe it's I don't know. Maybe it's just my tourist tourist bias, and I haven't really had my uh, my 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 fate ran here yet. You know, I don't, I don't know why, but just being here, like if I was in the same like kind of spots at night in, in Chelyabinsk, I would be thinking which corner I'm gonna get my ass beat at. You know, but that's not the case here, which I find really weird. Hello, excuse me, base department. And guys, basically that is pretty much most of it. So I'm sorry for being super anticlimactic, but this is the majority of what I've recorded in Sochi. I actually have some footage from a different day as well, but I love what I said in those clips. It's pretty much redundant to what I've already shown in this video. I do have some nice B-roll though to, you know, just demonstrate what I'm talking about. So I guess my final thoughts about Sochi are that um, I really liked my trip. It was a lot of fun. For me, again, the biggest sort of, uh, you know, the thing that blew my mind was just being there. It doesn't feel like you're in Russia. It feels like it's literally like a territory that's been annexed well i mean which is it which it which it is <laughs> but you know what i mean right it's been russia for a while now you know what is this okay can somebody i don't even i don't even know if anybody who watches this video gets it but like russian post and all these palm trees it just doesn't make sense to me like it just doesn't make sense to me okay this is not russia to me what is this what is this just the overall juxtaposition of all the russian stuff that i'm used to you know in my city and any other region of russia that looks more regular i guess and also of all the soviet stuff with the uh, nature that is more like you know more tropical i guess with palm trees and everything it just blows my mind it's like it's crazy i felt so weird now as far as infrastructure and stuff like that goes the city is very clean very nice very tidy uh the roads seem immaculate to me i expected to search you to have bad roads for example for for some reason i don't know why but there's definitely still that old nature of sochi which i was talking about you know how this place wasn't as bougie was more like tacky just like no design code any uh, buildings or anything like just everything's kind of on top of everything there's a ton of advertisements everywhere it's all kind of just like in your face you know this like insane like crazy capitalist dystopia basically like there's advertisements everywhere in your face it's like no regulations on buildings or anything that was the nature of Sochi a very long time ago and it's very much still there I mean a lot of the times you would walk and you would see something nice you know uh, some street would look very nice very European I would even say or Mus Muscovian something like Moscow but then you would turn the corner and you would uh, see something that's way just way worse you know it looks like that looks like any other city in regular rural 
Russia. So there's also that juxtaposition in the city itself between its like bougie side and between its more like tacky, you know, regular sort of unregulated wild side. Now here's a few quick little things I noticed. First of all, there was for some reason there's a ton of stray dogs in the city and that's just not the case in like Chilebinsk, for example, where I live. I like never really see stray dogs. Apparently the government does something about it. I, I do not know, honestly, but in Sochi, there's stray dogs everywhere. I mean, I've recorded like at least five different clips of just stray dogs. It's just kind of weird because I haven't been to a city in Russia in a while, which has, I, I, would, I don't know if it's a problem, but it's 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 there it's a fact another thing i noticed is that um in sochi you know just because it's like very unregulated uh, you see a lot of very interesting signs a lot of very interesting places that uh, you wouldn't see so openly described i would say in other cities in russia so like um here's, an, here's a good example erotic bomb on the elite men's club over 20 girls every night amazing show program dance non-stop only come inside anime girls. <laughs> yeah, I guess you guys understand what kind of places I'm talking about. But yeah, overall, it was a great trip. I had a lovely weekend getaway at Sochi. The only thing I guess I could complain about is that the weather wasn't the nicest. Out of the three days we were there, uh, two days were, were extremely windy, cold, and rainy. But yeah, overall, it was great, and I feel like this trip is gonna make me travel more inside Russia because I really haven't done a ton of that, and I, there are interesting places we could check out, so... I guess that is going to be pretty much it for today's video, though. I hope you guys did enjoy this little vlog i hope it was interesting make sure to also check out the video i uploaded recently on the abandoned soviet elite resorts located near sochi that video is a banger love it and i also recorded it on this trip so yeah guys i hope you guys did enjoy this video once again if you guys did if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future please make sure to slap a like on this video if you want to support my channel make sure to go over to the link down in the description to my patreon donate to it i would gladly appreciate it by my youtubes yada 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 thank you guys so much for watching today's video and i will see you guys in the next one. Peace.